Hi, this is Rachel with Vita Halik, and today I want to show you a fun fall earring project. This is the Horn of Plenty earring, and I designed it because this time of year you see a lot of images of cornucopias on Thanksgiving tables with beautiful cascading fruit coming out of them, so I thought maybe a little earring would be a nice way to celebrate this time of year. So for this project, first the tools you'll need are some round nose pliers, some chain nose pliers, flush cutters, and you'll need um, this really cool looking antique brass bead cone, kind of in the shape of a cornucopia. You'll need an eye pin, um, an earring, a lever back earring finding, and some chain, and I already pre-cut this chain into a couple of special size pieces I'll talk about. And for the beads, this is just a really adorable collection of Czech glass fruit beads. So here we have some grapes and some apples and some pumpkins with these really cute little green pumpkin leaves. And you'll also need some antique brass 24 gauge wire. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is cut three pieces of chain. They're very small. Um, these lengths are one quarter inch, one half inch, and three quarters of an inch. And these will form the dangles that will hold your fruit beads in the cone. And next, you want to cut a few pieces of antique brass wire. And I'm gonna cut about three inches of wire, three pieces, three inches each. It doesn't have to be exact, but it'll give you a nice amount to work with. So for your first piece, um, you're going to make a handmade head pin. So you're gonna grip the edge of the wire in your round nose pliers and just wrap that wire around the very tip of the plier. So you create a very tiny loop. And now you're gonna take your flat nose pliers and grip that loop and just bend the rest of the wire up perpendicular to this little loop that you created. And now onto this piece, you're going to string one check glass pumpkin bead and the little green leaf piece. So this is your first component, and you're going to make a wrapped wire loop at the top. So we'll start by just bending the wire a little bit, and then grip with your round nose pliers, and create an open loop. You don't want to close that loop up yet, because what you want to do is string your smallest piece of chain onto this wire before you wrap it. So now the chain's on here, I'm just going to grip the wire loop and wrap a few times. And now I'm gonna cut off the excess with flush cutters. And the wire's sticking out a little bit, so I'm gonna neaten it up with chain nose pliers. And now we're done with our pumpkin components. So I'll just put that down. And next we're going to put on an apple on the second piece of wire that I have here. And what you wanna do is bend both ends of the wire up so they cross in the middle. And you don't want it bent too tight so that the fruit can't swing because it's nice when the piece can swing. And we're going to wrap one side of this wire and cut off the excess. I just did about one and a half little wraps of wire just to secure it. And I'll neaten that up with flat nose pliers. And next we're gonna make a loop on top. So I'm just going to bend the remaining wire piece upward and now I'm going to grip with round nose pliers. And just like with the previous component, I'm gonna wrap it around and leave the loop open because onto this piece of wire, we want to string the middle length piece of chain onto this loop. So now the chain is on here and I'm going to grip this loop with flat nose pliers and just give it a couple of wraps. It can be a little bit bird's nesty. It doesn't have to be super neat. 
So now I'm going to cut off the excess wire with flush cutters. And watch out for flying wire. And now your apple component is finished. So there it is. And now onto the last piece of wire, I'm going to string the grapes. So just like we did with the apple bead, I'm going to bend up both sides of this wire so that they cross in the middle. Grip it with the flat nose pliers and give one end a couple of little wraps. Cut off the extra. And very quickly just neaten up that little wire piece. And now I'm going to meet, make the second piece of wire neat, ready to make a loop. Make an open loop with the round nose pliers. And now I'm going to slide on the one remaining piece of chain, the longest piece, the three quarter inch piece of chain. And now just close up this loop, give it a couple of wraps. and cut off the extra. And once again, just going to make that a little bit neater with the flat nose pliers. So that's your third component there. Now the next step is to take an eye pin and just open up the loop of that eye pin. And now you're going to string the first link of all the pieces of chain in each of these components. And you can do it in any order you like. I go in size order, that's just my preference. And now the pumpkin. And now just close up that loop of the eye pin. And now you're going to string this um, bead cap, the bead cone. And you can see that the fruit pieces kind of dangle nicely and freely underneath the cone. So at the top here, you're gonna make a simple wire loop. I'm just gonna give it a little bend with the flat nose pliers and now make the loop with the round nose pliers. And I'm gonna cut off the extra with flush cutters. And after you make your simple wire loop, just leave it open because the last thing we want to do is to slide on the loop of an earring finding. And this is a really nicely toned antique brass lever back earring finding. So that just slides right on there. And now that that's on, you will close up the simple wire loop. And that is the final step of these earrings. So now you have a pair of Horn of Plenty earrings. They're great for Thanksgiving and they're just great to celebrate the fall season. You can find all of these supplies at beadaholic.com. Thanks for watching.